Hey everyone, my name is Allie Tessitore and I am the founder of the Imperfectly Balanced team. We are a 2015 Elite Team 10 Star Diamond and I am just so blessed and honored to have the opportunity to share with you today how to convert your incredible challengers to incredible coaches. For me, challenge groups is the heart of coaching. That is where we get to live out loud our mission as a coach, which is to help people live healthy, fulfilling lives, right? Healthy, fulfilling lives through health and fitness. That's where we get to lead by example in the challenge groups. That's where we get to help them with their health and fitness, their nutrition. We get to help them learn how to inspire one another, uplift one another, empower one another in these challenge groups. But not only are you helping these challengers improve their health and fitness, but you also have this amazing opportunity to take these challengers who are right there, they're right there in the palm of your hands, and help craft them and help grow them into these incredible coaches who share their transformation and give this opportunity to others. And the first thing you need to do, number one, is before you even start a challenge group, the second, the second a challenger signs up, you need to ask yourself, do they have coach potential? And I know sometimes you don't always know. Sometimes challengers evolve and they evolve into the ability to become a coach. But what I do is the first step. The first step for me is identify coach potential. That's the first thing you do when you are learning the skill, if you wanna call it a skill, of converting challengers to coaches. Is one is you need to identify the coach potential. And the first way you can do that is anytime you have a new challenger sign up, what I would do, and this is exactly what I do, is I go check out their social media. I check out their Facebook. I check out how many friends they have. I check out their Instagram. I see how many followers they have. I look at their content. Are they already healthy? Are they sharing about their new journey? What are they doing pre-challenge? Because a lot of times that lays the lays it out for you right away almost if some of them have the ability to be a coach just on a visual perspective if you get what i'm saying by looking at their social media if they're sharing if they're already just a social media user if you know what i mean i was that type of person before i even became a coach i was posting three four five six times a day just about my lifestyle so you want to see if your challengers have coach potential just from their social media okay that's the first thing you want to identify Number two, the second way that you can identify coach potential is when you actually start your challenge group, okay? And how you do that is by you giving them a call to action. I do this in every single challenge group, and it is amazing to me. There's two things that happen. When I give this call to action that I'm going to share with you, two things happen. I get a lot of referrals or someone signs up to be a coach. It's one of the two that happens. And who doesn't love referrals, meaning we get to help more people, and two, who doesn't love a challenger turning into a coach who has instant success club because they've inspired people to join them? And this is how I do it. My call to action every single week when I start the challenge group, usually week one. Week one for me is really plan and prep, so it's a total of four weeks for my challenge groups. I have prep week, week one, week two, week three. So I have a total of four weeks. It takes an entire month, but I don't start the contest the call to actions that I do to hope find, hopefully find coach potentials is during week one. Week one, what I do is I have a hashtag contest. I do hashtags for all of my contests because hashtags, usually it intrigues the reader. It asks them, it intrigues them to ask a question. Usually then they'll ask you the question, what the heck does that hashtag mean? So for me, we have a team hashtag. It's hashtag IB chick or hashtag imperfectly balanced or whatever the challenge group is called for us this month, it is hashtag 21 days of Christmas. So for example, today I went live in my challenge group and I said this week, our call to action this week for all of you is I want all of you to start sharing and inspiring others through your post. So this week, the one challenger who shares the most on their Facebook page or their IG page, either one, with the hashtag IBChick, hashtag imperfectly balanced, hashtag 21 days of Christmas, you will win a fitness tank or you will win a $10 gift card for, for Starbucks. So I do that each week. There's different contests you can do. You can do hashtag to share your post. I've done a squat challenge before where I've said, okay, today, 
This challenge this week is I want all of you to do 20 squats, find two people to do them with you that you do not know, videotape it, share it on your wall, hashtag it, tag it in me, and I will enter all of you into a raffle. What this does is it does two things right here. When you do this call to action in your challenge group, it gives you two things here. One, it shows you the challengers who are willing to share their journey on their Facebook wall. Because the biggest struggle, the biggest struggle for every new coach is sharing their journey. Sharing their journey is the hardest thing to do because people are uncomfortable sharing themselves. They're afraid of failure, afraid of rejection, uh, afraid of judgment. And what this does is this shows you right away who is bold enough to share their journey on their Facebook wall. So right there, it already single outs, identifies coach potentials for you to put on your radar, to reach out to. Number two, and actually, most of the times, it happens to me every single challenge group, is that person, that challenger who hashtags will have a gazillion comments, so many likes, saying, what are you doing? Tell me about it. And right there, that inspires my challenger, inspires your challenger to start thinking, oh my gosh, people are watching what I'm doing. They're interested in what I'm doing. I get to share with them. And they have the opportunity to share with these people about what they're doing without a challenge pack sale, without Shakeology sale, it's them just sharing their journey, which is a genuine, it's genuine with no strings attached. And that gets them comfortable with sharing about what they are doing. So that's how I identify my coach potentials. One is when they sign up to be a challenger, let me tell you, I look on their Instagram, I look on their Facebook, I check out their social media, and I put a note in my note in my mind, I stick it on my Excel sheet, I put a note somewhere saying that Jane Smith has the potential to be a coach. Number two, that I identify coaches, coach potentials is in the actual challenge group when I do a call to action. So if your team is shine bright, you can do hashtag shine bright and have all your challengers tag that for the week. And then that's where you can monitor and that's where you can assess some three or four or five, how many challengers that might have the coach potential. Now, what I do is I take it to the next level. When I start identifying those coach potentials, which is usually in week one, after they have followed my call to action, I then reach out to them. I do not talk to them about coaching, okay? I do not talk to them about coaching. What I do is I say, I screenshot the post they made, or I, I do something that shows them. I usually screenshot the picture, and I send it to them, usually through Facebook Messenger because it's quick, and then I'll send them a voicemail. And I'm like, hey, Jane, I absolutely love your post today. It was incredible. Did you see all of the likes and all of the comments that you got on your squat challenge post? I absolutely loved it, and I can't believe that people are already reaching out to you. You're inspiring so many of them. I am so proud of you. That is it. I do not talk about coaching. I do not say you'd be a great coach. I just say you are inspiring people. You're doing a great job. I am proud of your boldness and keep it up. That's all I do. That's week one. And I keep doing that through the entire challenge group for all of the, the challengers that have coach potential. Okay. That is how I start targeting. That is how I start targeting my challengers to coaches. Now, what I do as a coach specifically, there are three things that I do specifically, three actions that I take as a coach, as a leader, to plant seeds, to plant the seeds of the coach opportunity in my challenge group. So the first phase is you're identifying coach potential, and I went over those steps. There's three steps. The, the second phase is you planting seeds as a coach, because remember, if you do not share about the business, you will never grow the business. And yes, you can share about the business. You can share about the coach opportunity in your challenge group because some of the best coaches, you guys, are your challengers. They're hands down the best coaches are your challengers because they, they believe in the products. They're proof of the products. They understand the challenge groups. They know what it's like to be on a journey alone and then get the support. They are your best coaches. So this is where it's your job. It's your job as a coach to plant that seed of the coach opportunity. So there's three ways that I do this. Okay, you guys ready? Take your notes. Week one of prep. During prep week, remember, in my challenge groups, I have four. So the first seed that is planted is in week one of my challenge group prep, and that is on Thursday night. The, the Thursday night of our challenge group prep where everyone has lots of questions still, they've reviewed their programs, they've gone over meal plans, 
they're like, what do I do next? I lead a challenge group Q&A Zoom. It's a Zoom. I do not go live in the group because I want people to see my face, but I want them to see everyone else's face that is bold enough to get on the call, you guys. I want them to make a connection with one another, see each other face to face, hear their voices, and connect to them emotionally. Remember, it's the emotional connection that gets women. It really does. So I do this challenge group Q&A on Thursday night of prep. On this Q&A, I literally introduce myself, short and sweet. I introduce myself, I share a little bit of my background if they don't know who I am. I explain to them my heart for these challenge groups, what Imperfectly Balanced is, what our community is about, what our sisterhood is about, and then I go into the challenge group. I screen share the challenge group. If you are using the, the challenge app, the challenge app, you can just talk about that, but if you are doing a Facebook challenge group, which is something I do as well, I will screen share the challenge group on Facebook and I will show them what the challenge group looks like and I walk them through the steps of what the call to action is every day, where to find the pinned post, where are the meal plans, where are the recipes, and I go through everything that they need to know to be fully equipped. At this time, I also plant the seed. This is the first seed that is planted about the coach opportunity. And I very casually, I don't focus on it because I don't want them to think, oh, she's in this to get coaches. I literally just plant a seed and I say, by the way, ladies, I just want to let you know that towards the end of this challenge, I host a coach opportunity call for all of you that might be intrigued about coaching and what we do as coaches, how you can inspire other women to get healthy, and how also how you can possibly earn your shakes for no cost. You can inspire other women and you can truly pay this gift forward. That is it. It is short, it is simple, it is less than one minute, it's an elevator speech, I throw it out there and I move back into the challenge group Q&A. I then open it up for a Q&A session and I just answer questions, I just connect with the other women and sometimes I even ask the women to share why they decided to join the challenge group so they can make that connection again, the emotional connection with each woman and figure out why all of them have decided to commit to change in their health. That's the first step in planting a seed, is the challenge group Q&A during prep week and planting the seed about the coach opportunity that you are going to present them in week three, really week four of the challenge group. Now moving on, the second week of the challenge group is just the first week. That's day one of the challenge, that's when it officially starts, but that's technically week two for me. You start the challenge group. This is where it is your job just to kill it with inspiring them and encouraging them. This is where I give the call to action so I can start identifying challenges who are willing to share their journey on their Facebook wall. I give the hashtag little challenge and I reach out to those that have potential to be coaches and I just start planting the seed of not really being coaches, but inspiring others, okay? Now, we roll into week two of the challenge, which is week three of the month. Week two of the challenge, that's the second week of the actual challenge group. That is where I make a post, a very casual post. I will also share with you guys exactly what I say in the message of this video. But I post a graphic that I made, and it says, ask yourself. It says ask yourself dot 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 and I usually post it midweek on a Wednesday and I say ask yourself one are you loving the shakes are you loving the program two are you wanting to inspire other people in your journey and three has someone asked you about what this new journey is that you're doing and then I have a little error and I say read the message for more details and what it does is it's not talking about coaching but it's asking them questions to trigger them to start thinking about what the heck is she talking about here and then in my body of my message I share with them I just go over basics don't forget your shakes are on auto ship don't forget to continue on in this challenge you want to continue drinking your shakes every single month and then I say about the coach opportunity I share with them moving forward if you have the heart to help other people if people are reaching out to you asking you about what you're doing I would love to share more with you about coaching. You can also earn 25% off of all of your shakes, all of your programs. If you want more details, comment below that you're all in or send me details. So I make a post. It's a post with a picture that is week two of the actual challenge group. So I've planted my, what seed is that? Second seed of the coach opportunity. Very subliminal, okay? It's all out there for all the challengers to see. That's week two. 
Week two, I am still doing another call to action hashtag contest to see who is still in it to share their story. I still send those private messages, planting seeds, seeing how incredible they're doing. That is when I say, oh, by the way, did you see that message that I posted about becoming a coach, getting the 25% off, and inspiring other women to do the same? That's my seed that I am planting that is actually on a one-on-one -on -one level. That's the first time when I make that post in the second week. Now moving on to the third week, which is the final week of the challenge group. The final week of the challenge group, which is the last week of the month, okay, I always lead a coach opportunity call on the fourth Thursday of every month. So what this allows me to do is it allows me to invite the challengers that have the, the coach potential to this coach opportunity call to hear it out. And then if they say yes, they roll right in to the first of the month coach training. You get how that is? It's a little funnel. I love the little funnels. So what happens is, is I am already posting on my personal page about the coach opportunity webinar, the, my why for coaching, whatever you want to call it. I start sharing about that, that it's going to be on Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It's open for all. I create an event. I have a, a group as well, and I start sharing it. I share this event or this group, however you want to do it, I have an event and a closed group. I share it into my challenge group in week three. On Monday, I share it week three on Monday. And I say, by the way, you guys, I know I have mentioned to you a few times about the challenge group and how there's opportunities to take it up to the next level and to become a coach and do what I'm doing and share your journey and inspire others. And I would love for any of you who are interested at all to listen to my live session on what coaching is all about and how you can become a coach, what our mission is, how to get started and how easy it is and how I help you every step of the way. I share that week three, the last week of the challenge group, which is week four of the month. And most of the times I have three to four to five challengers who will come listen and then it all depends if they are willing to be bold enough to sign up to be a coach. But that is how I do the process. Once they listen to the call and if they show up, I usually reach out to them and I ask them on a one-on-one -on -one level, what do they think of the call? Do they have any questions? Do they have any concerns? And I'll ask them if they want to do a one-on-one -on -one call. I'll let them know that my new coach training starts next week, the first of the month. And it Usually they'll roll right into it so they can get started the first of the month with the coach training, the one-on-one -on -one calls, and you know be ready to get started for the following month. And that is how I have a really incredible strong coach coach ratio um, from challenge groups for me. That's the heart of it. That's how I convert. I would say I would say 90% of my coaches come from challenge groups, and it's because. You just have to plant the seeds. You have to, one, identify the coach potential in your challengers, and two, it is your, it is your job, it is your, uh, it is your responsibility to plant those seeds. Remember, you cannot grow this business if you do not share the opportunity. And if all of you are consistently hitting Success Club every single month, Success Club 5, Success Club 10, and beyond, you have coaches right at your fingertips, literally. You have coaches at your fingertips, your challengers, that all you have to do is you have to encourage them, you have to motivate them, you have to inspire them, you have to uplift them and give them that, that encouragement to see the coach potential in themselves. But you have to do that. You have to be willing to do that. And that is it. I promise you, just be consistent with it. There's months where I've had two challengers sign up as coaches. In the month of August, I had 16 challengers sign up as coaches. So you never know what's gonna happen. But what I say in all of this is you don't have to do it exactly like I do it, but find a system that works for you and be consistent with it. Do it every single month. My coaches, my challengers know that every single month I have a challenge group Q&A and I have a coach opportunity for them to plug into and I always show up. No matter what who's there, even if my coaches show up and they're listening, I'm still there sharing with them so they can learn how to do it. If I have five challengers that show up, I am there and I am ready to invest in them and I'm ready to help them and help them grow and see their potential to be an incredible life-changing coach who gives this gift and who pays this opportunity of health, hope, and community forward because that's what we're called to do, you guys. 
We are called to help people live healthy, fulfilling lives, to pay this mission forward and to help them see their, see their potential of greatness. That's what it's about. So if you have questions, if you have comments, if you need help at all, comment below. I would love to share more with you. I will post below the steps of how I identify coach potential and how I plant those seeds throughout the challenge group. So thank you guys for listening. I love sharing with you and check out my other videos and go rock this. Go rock your challenger to coach uh, conversion because this is the heart of it. It starts with the challenge groups and you're going to have some rock star coaches from your challenge group, but it all starts with you taking action and planting those seeds. Bye, you guys.